Okay, so today I want to show you something that I like to do, and that is I like to install packages in a five frame nuke box. I've had really good success with installing new packages in a box this size because the natural swarm prefers to have a size of about, I think it's uh, equal to about a five gallon jug maybe, and this really fits the bill. So I'm going to show you how we um, install a package of honeybees. This is a traditional uh, cage that we're using now. We've used them for the last few years. It's got the candy can in the middle. It's made out of plastic so it may uh, kind of be different than you're used to with the wooden cages which we use for hundreds of years. It's got a little queen tab. So what I'm going to do is shake the bees down like this. It doesn't hurt the bees. And then I'm going to pull the can out that's full of candy and some bees are going to fly out, but just hang on. I'm going to grab the queen cage. I'm going to put the can back just to hold the bees in. Now here's the queen cage here. And you can see the queen is walking around inside of there. You might be wondering, what is all that comb on there? Well, it means the bees have been really fed well while they've been in the cage and they've been in the cage, uh, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They've been in the cage five days. I purposely held them there that long. They feed the queen. She's in there by herself. They feed her through the little holes there. I'm going to take the cap off. If you can see the cap right here, just pulls off, exposing the candy. Now, it's not a bad idea to remove a little bit of the candy. Uh, that's about an inch of candy. If you want to take half of it out, especially after the the queen has been in there that long you can take a lot of it out I'm just gonna remove about that much and now I'm gonna kind of just hang on to that queen cage while I dump all the bees in there and here we go are you ready I'm gonna put the queen right here now they're gonna be flighty because they're not mad they're not angry they're just wanting to fly around I'm going to put the, some frames back in along with the queen. They're already used to her pheromones, so I want to make sure that they know where the queen is. I'm just going to put it right there in the top. I'm going to take these beads that are in here and get some more to go right on top of the queen like this. All right. Now I'm going to put the top on. So you can see here the nice white comb that the bees have made and uh, it's because they've eaten the sugar out of here and they got a little bit left after these seven days.